Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today we're gonna take a look at the Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Markers. So if you like to add a little color of shimmer or you like to blend with shimmer with your watercolor media for your stamped images and your mixed media, this is the bomb. So let's take you through um, how it's packaged. First of all, they are sold in two packs, which is kind of nice because, you know, one's never enough. And when you get them, they have this little, little cap on them. This just keeps them from activating in transit. So you have to remove that and then you um, screw it together and then you get the happy shimmery goodness. Now I'm going to start off by showing you this on black paper because you'll be able to see it better. So um, you probably should also give it a little shake just to activate it. And here we go. So this has a clear base, but it has a real like whitish silverish glimmer shimmer. And here you can see already just how shimmery that is. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with just a real quick trio. First, I'm going over the Aqua Flow markers and adding some sparkle. And then I'm just going over a little piece of cardstock, kind of highlighting uh, the text there. And then in this last one, what you really can't see is that I've added a little bit of the Aqua Flow marker to an acrylic block and then picked up uh, the color with my uh, glimmer marker, kind of using it like a blender pen. So I just wanted to show you that you can use the glitter gloss pen both on top of something like Aqua Flow, but also on top of colored pencil. It won't be used as a blender on colored pencil, but you can still use it on top of that medium to add shimmery highlights. Okay, now that this has had a chance to dry, I kind of want to do a little smudge test to see if it wanted to come off on my finger. Can I get it to rub off entirely? And the answer is I can absolutely get some of it to rub off on my finger. They're obviously like little fine mica particles, but even with all that rubbing, you still get a nice shine on the paper, which might be a little bit better than, oh, say, applying glitter, because you know it's gonna stay put and it's not gonna flake off on everybody. Another thing to look at is how you can build the saturation of the shimmer. So I did one, two, and three coats. This last one, I kind of gave the barrel a squeeze so the maximum amount came out, and you can see just how opaque that shimmer is. So you can control it depending on how much shimmer you want. You can go with just like a light coat for a little bit or with a heavy squeeze to get a lot to come out at once. It's nice that you can control it. Don't forget, you can also use these on any porous surface. So even things like paper flowers, wood bits, um, you know, card stocks, burlap, anything that is porous, you can use with these. So as you can see here, I'm actually adding a little bit of glimmer shimmer to this little teeny flower, and it'll look so much nicer with some shimmer on it. So I'm gonna leave you with a couple of semi-finished samples. Um, I made two cards. One I made yesterday, the one on the right with a Wink product, and I used the Aqua Shimmer on the left, and I just feel like the Aqua Shimmer actually shows up better. It's stronger. Uh, and then this last one, I used it a bunch of different ways, including highlighting the sentiment, creating a wash behind it, and then blending the watercolor markers that I used on the Dahlia. It's just all shimmery and shiny, and I think these would be a great addition to your crafty arsenal. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review and demo. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, and I would love it if you subscribe to our channel. Again, thanks for watching, and have a crafty day.